Welcome to season five of High School Quiz Show Maine, where 16 schools are competing to be this year's champion and take home that thousand dollars for their school's project graduation. In our fourth qualifying match, it's the Eagles of Wyndham High School. Taking on the Panthers of North Yarmouth Academy. That's coming up next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Maine Education Association, standing with educators, ensuring their voices, values, and priorities are respected as they continue to teach and support Maine students during the pandemic and beyond. Learn more at MaineEA.org. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Smart home technology can help prevent a little problem from becoming a big headache. You can ask an independent agent about smart home technology offers from Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you, thank you. Welcome to season five of High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm Todd Guttner. Welcome to our fourth match of the season, where we continue to whittle down from 16 teams down to one champion who will take home the $1,000 grand prize for their school's project graduation. And a reminder that this year, you will have the chance to win $500 for the school of your choice with our Quiz Show Conundrum Contest that's coming up later in the show. In our fourth match of the season, we have Wyndham High School taking on North Yarmouth Academy. Let's get things started by meeting the players. For Wyndham, we have Greta, Caitlin, Francesca, and Al, with alternates Victoria and Will, and coaches John Ziegler and Nicole Densmore. And for North Yarmouth, we have Claire, Tyler, Genevieve, and Luke, with alternate Caitlin. They're coached by Jennifer Michaelis. The competition has three rounds, a toss-up, a category round, and a lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. Now here, all answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players, this is important. You must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. All right, gang, you guys ready to go? All right, let's have some fun. Let's have a good competition here. Here's the first question. Which branch of U.S. federal government includes the president, vice president, and the cabinet? Greta Wyndham. The executive. The executive branch, yes. What tough-looking breed of dog that originated in England is the mascot for sports teams at Yale University and Georgia? Caitlin Wyndham. The bulldog. The bulldog, yes. A passage in the biblical book of Jeremiah asks whether what animal can change its spots? Greta again. A leopard? A leopard, yes. The energy your body gets from food is measured in what units, whose name means heat? Uh, Tyler, North Yarmouth Academy. Calories. Calories, yes. Up next, we have a picture question, so you're going to want to watch this monitor right here. Name this three-time Tour de France champion and anti-doping advocate who is now considered the greatest American cyclist in the aftermath of Lance Armstrong's doping scandal. Answer, Greg LeMond. All right, we move on. The Louisiana Purchase was a land transaction between the U.S. and what European country? Caitlin Wyndham. France. France is correct. Carl Fredrickson has a plan to fly his house to South America with, a he with helium balloons in what Oscar-winning movie from 2009? Claire, North Yarmouth. Up. Up is correct. What name that means right or straight 
in Spanish refers to a long-lasting storm system like the one that traveled straight through Iowa in the summer of 2020. This is kind of a weather question. Uh, my, this is my wheelhouse, Duratio, Duratio. A solution moves through a semi-permeable membrane until areas of high solute concentration and low solute concentration are equal. What is this passive process called? Francesca. Osmosis. Osmosis, yes. Up next, we have a video question, so please take a look at your monitors right here. Hi, I'm Robbie Feinberg, reporter and host here at Maine Public. What is the nickname given to Margaret Thatcher, referring to her uncompromising political and leadership style? Greta Wyndham. Iron Maid. That is incorrect. Claire, North Yarmouth. Uh, the Iron Lady. That is correct. What man, who is the former governor of Massachusetts and a current senator from Utah, ran against Barack Obama for president in 2012? Tyler, North Yarmouth. Mitt Romney. Yes, Mitt Romney. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen played for what team that won six NBA championships in the 1990s? Tyler again. The Chicago Bulls. Yes. What explosive two-word name did British astronomer Fred Hoyle give to a well-known theory about the origin of the universe? Al Wyndham. The Big Bang. That's correct, Big Bang. Where is your sciatic nerve? A, your back, B, your eye, or C, your heart? Greta Wyndham. Back. Yes, A, your back. Math question now. What is the area of a trapezoid whose bases are 5 and 16 and whose height is 14? Answers 147, 147. Katmandu Valley is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the foothills of which mountain range? Francesca Wyndham. The Himalayas. Himalayas, yes. The U.S. Marines, known as Code Talkers, transmitted messages in what Native American language for the U.S. military during World War II? Claire, North Yarmouth. Navajo. Navajo. In a Reddit interview, the abbreviation AMA has a specific meaning. What is that meaning? Caitlin Wyndham. Ask me anything. You got it. Ask me anything. What Broadway musical tells a story inspired by the Wizard of Oz from the witch's point of view? Greta Wyndham. Wicked. Wicked is correct. In vascular plants, phloem carries sucrose down from the leaves to the roots. What tissue carries water and nutrients up? Greta again. The xylem. That is correct. A tanner is a person who works with what material? A, leather, B, stone, or C, wood? Al Wyndham. Leather. Leather is correct. What dramatic style of ballroom dancing is on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List for Argentina and Uruguay? Uh, Claire, North Yarmouth. Tango. Tango, yes. The title of a book by Paulo Coelho refers to what sort of scientist magician who tries to turn ordinary metals into gold? Uh, Caitlin Wyndham. Alchemist. Correct, alchemist. Another math question. Michi Bros Brusco was the first pro skateboarder to land a trick with three and a half full airborne revolutions. How many degrees are in three and a half revolutions? Greta Wyndham. 1,260? Yes, nice job. From the Latin for two heads, what is the name for the two-headed flexor muscle at the front of your upper arm? Francesca Wyndham. Bicep. Correct, bicep. Annapolis is on what bay that stretches from Maryland down to Virginia? We did get it in. Caitlin Wyndham. Chesapeake Bay. That's correct, Chesapeake. Built in the 15th century, Topkapi Palace in Istanbul was the seat of what empire for the next 400 years? Greta Wyndham. The Ottoman? That's correct, the Ottoman Empire. Her father is drafted into the army, but he's too old to fight. So what heroine from Chinese folklore and Disney films dresses as a man and takes his place as a soldier? Caitlin Wyndham. Mulan. Mulan, yes. 
What first century Greek scholar wrote lives of the nobles, Grecians, and Romans, also known as parallel lives? Greta, Wyndham? Socrates? Incorrect. North Yarmouth? Plato. Luke? Uh, uh, that's incorrect. Plutarch. Plutarch. George Seurat was known for what painting technique that takes its name from the French for dots? Uh, Greta Wyndham. Impressionism? Incorrect. North Yarmouth, Genevieve. Pointillism. Pointillism, good job. In chess, what word is defined as a calculated risk, like an opening move that sacrifices a pawn to gain an adva advantageous position? Luke, North Yarmouth. Gambit. Good job, Gambit. All right, that's the end of the first round. Good job, teams. Wyndham, we're at 180. North Yarmouth Academy is at 90. Great start to season five. We'll meet the teams when we come back. And we are back. A reminder that we are not doing that head-to-head -head round this season, but we will still take a couple of minutes to get to know our contestants with our special question. And this evening, it is... If you were a wrestler, what would your name and theme song be and why? And good luck with this one. Uh, we're going to start over here with Wyndham. Greto, what do you got? I think I would go with Won't Bach Down, and I'd have um, Prelude in G played on electric guitar. That is brilliant. Um, really good. Very, very nice answer. Caitlin, what do you got for us? I would be loud and proud, and I would have Hayloft by Mother Mother. <laughs> I haven't heard that one, I don't think. Oh, you should. Okay, all right. That sounds good. Uh, Francesca? Um, I would probably be chess the best because that's what I do for Quizlets. And I would probably have Underground by Cody Fry playing because it's unexpected but still pretty cool. Totally, yeah. What are Quizlets? I, I'm, not, well, I'm not familiar with Quizlets. And I'm getting a lot of side eye right now, apparently. What's a Quizlet? It's something that like teachers can do. It's like a study set. Online flashcards. Yeah, yeah, online flashcards. Flash and, and you can also do like Quizlet Live and like okay. play yeah. against your team. Your uh, that did not class. exist when I went to school, which was like four decades ago. Um, Al, what do you got? I would be the challenger, and I would play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to try to put my challenge <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. Let's go to North Yarmouth, Claire. Um, mine would probably be something like something like classical calamity. I just play classical music and try to, you know, bore them. Yeah, throw them off lull them to sleep again. This exactly, seems to be a, a yeah. theme, a strategy yeah. for you guys. Uh, Tyler. I'd be El Jefe, which means the boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my song would be Runaway by Kanye West. Ah, oh, nice. Well done. All right, uh, Genevieve. Probably be unathletic because I am unathletic. unathletic. Okay. And my theme song would probably be, uh, it sounds similar to the Jaws theme song, but it's made by Dvorak. <laughs> okay. So to scare your opponent, right? Yeah, but it's also just a fun piece. Yeah, fun piece. All right, thanks, Genevieve. And Luke, to wrap it up. Uh, I'd be Bigger Mac, and my theme song would be the main theme from Punch-Out. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. The category round is coming up next, but first, here is your chance to win $500 for the school of your choice with our quiz show conundrum of the week. Hi, I'm Grace Levitt, president of the Maine Education Association, and this is your quiz show conundrum. Unscramble the phrase, rowboat shrink. Your clue is, their boats are really big. That's rowboat shrink. Their boats are really big. Unscramble the word or phrase to reveal a main location. Send your answer along with your name and a main pre-K through secondary school of your choice to quiz show at mainpublic.org. We'll choose two of the correct answers at random and the nominated schools will each win $500. A different conundrum will be revealed each week. Entries limited to one entry per household per question. Contest ends June 22nd at 1159 p.m. Eastern. Winners will be revealed during the Season 5 Championship episode. For full contest rules and alternate entry information, go to mainpublic.org slash quiz show and good luck. Welcome back to High School Quiz Show Maine. Next up, the category round with the following choices. Monkey business. Can you dig it? 
Island time. Speak up, eat your vegetables, and a spot of tea. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Now, players, you must wait for me to finish the question before, the uh, before you buzz in. You can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer and will need that answer. And like in the toss-up round, if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given the chance to answer. Uh, North Yarmouth, you are trailing right now, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? A spot of tea, please. A spot of tea for 10. All right. These are going to all, all the answers will start with the letter T. Uh, Robin, Raven, and Beast Boy are members of what superhero group that, that protects Jump City? <phone rings> Greta Wyndham. Teen Titans. Teen Titans, yes. Uh, you have control now, Greta and Wyndham. Yeah, we'll stick with this. All right. A spot of T for 15. Lara Croft is the main playable character in which video game franchise? Caitlin Wyndham. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, yes. Where would you like to go? Let's stick with this. Okay. A spot of tea for 20. Simona Halep and Ashley Barty are highly ranked players of what sport? Greta Wyndham. Tennis. Tennis, yes. What would you like to do? Let's stay with this. Stay with it. A spot of tea for 25. Uh, in the newspaper comic strip Calvin and Hobbes, what kind of animal is Hobbes? Uh, Claire, North Yarmouth. A tiger. A tiger is right. Where would you like to go, Claire? Um, a spot of tea for 30, please. All right, we'll wrap up the category. Midnight Sun is the newest novel in what saga by Stephanie Meyer? Greta, Wyndham. Twilight. Twilight, yes. You have control again. Let's go with eat your vegetables for 10, please. Got it. Eat your vegetables for 10. Questions about veggies. Iceberg, Boston, and Romaine are varieties of what vegetable that most people eat in salads? Greta, Wyndham. Lettuce. Lettuce is correct. Now where? I like vegetables. Vegetables for 15. Do you really like your vegetables, Al? I, I love my vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. You say so. <laughs> Allium, Sipa, is the botanical name for the common type of what vegetable that makes you cry when you chop it? Luke, North Yarmouth. Onion. Onion, yes. How about you, Luke? Where do you want to go? Uh, let's go for eat your vegetables 20. Okay, eat your vegetables for 20. Traditionally, coleslaw and sauerkraut are made from what vegetable finely shredded? <phone rings> Greta Wyndham. Cabbage. Cabbage, yes. Now where? Speak up for 10, please. Speak up for 10. Questions about languages. Catalan is the official language of what country that lies between Spain and France? Caitlin Wyndham. Andorra. Andorra. Nice. You're up. Uh, speak up for 15. Okay, speak up for 15. Zulu and Afrikaans are two of the 11 official languages of what African country? Uh, Claire, North Yarmouth. South Africa. South Africa, yes. Where would you like to go? Speak up for 20, please. Okay, speak up for 20. Of the six official languages of the United Nations, which one is also an official language of Senegal and Switzerland? Greta, Wyndham. Germany? Uh, incorrect. Is it French? It is French, yes. Well done. Uh, where would you like to go? Speak up for 25, Speak please. Speak up for 25. The indigenous language Mari was designated an official language of what country in 1987? Claire again. Australia? Uh, incorrect. Wyndham? Not touching it, huh? New Zealand. New Zealand. You were close. Uh, you still have control of the board, though, Claire, in North Yarmouth? Uh, speak up for 30, please. Okay, speak up for 30. Australia has Auslan, France has LSF, and the U.S. and Canada have ASL. What kind of languages are these? Uh, Greta, Wyndham. Sign languages? Sign languages, yes. All right, you have control of the board. Monkey business for 10. Monkey business for 10. Questions about monkeys. All right, here we go. Most monkeys are arboreal, meaning they spend most of their time in what environment? Claire. For okay. Forests. Uh, forests is correct. Yes, you have control. Um, island time for 10, please. Island time for 10. Questions about islands of the world. Franklin Delano Roosevelt had a summer home on what island that connected by a bridge to Lebec, Maine? Greta, Wyndham. Warm Springs. 
Incorrect. North Yarmouth, you can steal. Campobello. Campobello Island. Uh, North Yarmouth, still with control. Um, island time for 15, please. Island time for 15. The Thousand Islands region of New York State and Ontario, Canada centers on which river that separates the U.S. and Canada? Greta Wyndham. The Hudson? Incorrect. North Yarmouth, you can steal. The St. Lawrence. The St. Lawrence. Uh, North Yarmouth, you still have control. Uh, can you dig it for 10, please? Okay. Can you dig it? Questions about archaeological discoveries. An expedition led by Heinrich Schelamin unearthed the remains of what ancient city where King Pyram once ruled? This would be Troy. Troy would be the answer. Uh, North Yarmouth with control. Can you dig it for 15, please? We'll go to 15. Can you dig it? Hiram Bingham is best known for finding what Inca citadel in the Peruvian Andes? Answer, Machu Picchu. North Yarmouth with control still. Uh, can you dig it for 20, please? Can you dig it for 20? At Thomas Jefferson's Monticello, archaeologists found the living quarters of what enslaved woman who was the mother of several of Jefferson's children? Caitlin Wyndham. Sally Hemings. That's correct, Sally Hemings. All right, where do you want to go there, Caitlin? Eat your vegetables for 25, please. Eat your vegetables for 25. What French stew made with zucchini and eggplant shares its name with a 2007 animated film about a rodent who wants to be a chef? Tyler, North Yarmouth. Ratatouille. That's correct, Ratatouille. All right, you have control. Um, monkey business for 15. Monkey business for 15. Like hamsters and chipmunks, baboons have pouches to carry food in what part of their body? Greta, Wyndham. The pouch, the stomach. Incorrect for me. The cheeks. You got it again. Nice job, Claire. What would you like, Claire? Um, monkey business for 20. Monkey business for 20. What species of monkey was used to develop the RH factor test used in blood typing? Greta Wyndham. Chimpanzee. Uh, incorrect. North Yarmouth. It's the rhesus monkey, the rhesus. Uh, North Yarmouth with control. Uh, island time for 20, please. Island time for 20. By area, the biggest island in the Caribbean is which independent nation that's located about 90 miles from Key West, Florida? Greta Wyndham. Cuba. Cuba's correct. All right, you got it. Uh, eat your vegetables for 30, please. Eat your vegetables for 30, the last one in this category. By definition, Spanakopita is a savory Greek pastry filled with feta cheese and what leafy green vegetable? Francesca. Spinach. Spinach is correct. Okay, what would you like? Can you dig it? Sure, can you dig it can for 25? Can you dig it for 25? Thanks, Al, <laughs> <laughs> for helping her out there. Paleontologist Sue Hendrickson unearthed a nearly complete skeleton of what type of dinosaur at the Hell Creek Formation in 1990? That'd be a T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. All right, that is the end of round two. And we have a score of Wyndham at 315. North Yarmouth Academy, though, still in this at 190. And we've got the lightning round next, and anything can change in the lightning round. So sit tight. We'll be right back. Okay, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. You can buzz in any time. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20. And the other team will not get the chance to answer. The clock is set, guys. Here we go. In Shakespeare's play, Hamlet is the prince of what country? Luke, North Yarmouth. Denmark. Denmark, yes. What Central American country has a name that means rich coast? Tyler, North Costa Yarmouth. Rica. Costa Rica, yes. How many watts are in a megawatt? Greta. hundred? Incorrect. Oh, uh, no. Uh, incorrect. The correct answer is one million. One million. Yeah, we well, don't get a chance to, to, to steal in this round. Sorry. The Edmund Pettus Bridge spans the Alabama River in what city? 
Greta, Wyndham. Montgomery. Incorrect. The answer is Selma. Summertime is an aria from which Gershwin opera? That'd be Porgy and Bess. Porgy and Bess. What punctuation mark indicates factorial in math? Tyler, North Yarmouth. Exclamation point. Correct. How many lines are on a standard treble musical staff? Greta, Wyndham. Four. Incorrect. Sorry, it's five, it's five. The Tao De Jing is attributed to which ancient Chinese philosopher? Uh, Greta got in, Wyndham. Confucius. Incorrect, the answer is Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu. The words of the Star Spangled Banner were inspired by, that's, yes, we got that in. Uh, Claire, North Yarmouth. Um, the Revolutionary War. Uh, incorrect, that would be the War of 1812. Oh man, what a close match we have. The final score, our winning team this week, Wyndham at 235. They will be moving on to the quarterfinals in a few weeks. Uh, the runner-up, North Yarmouth Academy, put up a great fight. Awesome lightning round, finished with 230. 230, what a match. Congratulations to both teams. Be sure to tune in next time as Cape Elizabeth takes on Coney in our next qualifying match. Thanks for watching High School Quiz Show Made. We'll see you again next time. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Maine Education Association, standing with educators, ensuring their voices, values, and priorities are respected as they continue to teach and support Maine students during the pandemic and beyond. Learn more at MaineEA.org. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance, we'll help you manage life storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. And by viewers like you, thank you.